welcome back to today's video, this is episode number 17 of the Upgrading Series. I believe this is episode number 17. If not, I'll put, I'll put in the title, but I think it is episode number 17. And this is probably where we're going to have like close to zero coins left. We have probably like enough just for like one more, one more upgrade. But we'll get more eventually. And for Clan Wars, as you can see, we're in second place. But to be fair, the first we were in first place. But to be fair, this clan has like all League Twenty people in it. So that's a that's un, that's understandable why they're in first place. Because they got really high levels, like as much as 17s, 18s, 20s, and stuff. So they're in first place by like a lot. But even if we do get second place, it's still 50 fame. I think it's called fame. And there's like three milestones. Like to milestone one, you 200 fame. So basically, you can win two times. Get first place two times, or get second place four, or get third place eight. And based on what I did see something yesterday about the milestones, there's three different ones. And the first one is um 200, 200 fame. So you'll get your reward after um clan the clan campaign is over. I think once you get 200 fame, it's um you get um. Just for getting 200 camp, 200 fame, you get um just legendary crate. So that's the first one, and you get it. I think as like, soon as after it's over. So 200 fame for the first one, you get legendary crate, and I think for 500 fame, this that's the second milestone. You get a legendary crate from the first one, I think. You can also get a legendary toolbox, which could have special items in it or legendary items. The milestone free, of course, is the best one. I think basically you get everything from the first two milestones, and you also get the exclusive golden skin. And I think a free legendary item, probably some more stuff. But if we just get second place every time, you're guaranteed to get um get milestone two, which that's not too bad. I mean, you, I mean for us, I think it's um. Where's the crates at? This says 90% chance of at least one legendary item, so you're basically almost guaranteed to get a, a legendary item, so that's pretty good. And the legendary crate's pretty good too. Even though we want third plate, the third milestone, if we can, it's alright. We'll probably, we'll probably can at least get second place in this one. But I'm sure there's something we'll be able to win. I mean, it, we might be able to get the 700 thing. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But we'll probably at least get maybe fifth, second place, 50 fame. So now it's time to go to the wheel and see who we get to upgrade for this episode of your Green Series. Okay, so we're back, and the slices are looking really big compared to the first episode. They look really big now. Let me just show you. And that's what it looked like before, and now this is what it looks like now. There's still some good woods up here. We can get Paco, Jack, um, Zach, Shelly, Steve. There's still a lot we can get, so we're going to spin it and see who we get. Pin. I don't know if we have enough for Finn. We can check. I'm not going to hide the slice yet, though, just in case. Well, I'll go ahead and hide it. And we'll come back and spin the wheel again if we don't have enough. So now let's we'll go to Finn. Where's Finn at? Mm, right there. Mm, I don't know. We'll to, let's see if we have enough just to get this 60,000. 120. That's 210. That's 270, so yeah, we got enough to upgrade Mike, I think. So we'll upgrade him.
Let's check his stats for four days, so he didn't have the most health, but he's pretty strong, and people like him because he's strong. Let's get these weapon points. Let's get that. Let's get this spear point. We're not gonna just gonna get the main four. We're not gonna waste any coins on the other ones. We, we barely have a hundred thousand left. So we're gonna upgrade them to level sixteen. So here we go. There good Finn is level 16 now. Let's use these weapon points. So the spear is full, fully maxed out with a cooldown reduction in the range. We could use some radius maybe. Let's get some velocity on that. And some range. We already had the four fighting slot. We've got muscles. And these emotes look pretty good. his stats afterwards he gained like a thousand health and he's pretty strong he he's strong so Finn has earned level 16 now we got seven level 16 we got so as you can see only two like rows can fit up here there's number 16 and there's 116 down there to play thin and see how good he is so let's see what it is it's a full alrighty so let's play full so probably we will do another upgrade video for a couple of days until we get some more coins we're going to need some more coins for another upgrading video <laughs> Finn is very easy to die. He is very easy to get killed by any character. Even low level, I think I've died to low levels before playing with Finn. Especially to a Bruce. He's, just, he's like Skippy. He can die. He's good, but he can die to lower levels. Because if you're not careful, you can die. No, Ollie's level 15. Turn the volume up a little bit. We do got muscles on them, so I don't really, it doesn't really make them that much stronger, but I guess it's more intimidating to, to fight against, I guess. Ollie's dead now. We already maxed out his muscles already. We don't have muscles for that many characters. We got it for um like three, I think. Tony, um, Paco and Finn, I think. Now Betsy will not leave us alone. <laughs> so, where's more enemies? There's somebody over there. Somebody killed the Betsy. It was that Nick with the legendary bomb. <laughs> Got 
Okay, we'll do we got that pepper. Something called the super chump or something like that was where you combine his active with his spear. I don't know how it's done. I think I've tried it before, it just doesn't work. But you gotta do it at the same time, I guess, but I said the skippy win. I don't really know how to do it, but it's okay. Cause he's still good even without doing it. Let's see, Finn, I'm the top now. We won't play one time. Yeah, let's play one more time because why not? There's a Bali over there. Level 19 Ollie. But I do know there is um like all these people with like all these League 20. They do go like Bali maxed out already. Uh uh does Zubo gift them all these tokens or do they buy these to buy the crates themselves? I don't know. I wouldn't think they would buy all of the crates for the tokens. Probably gonna die, we'll just play again. I don't know why the Ollie's laughing because he killed lower level. And there was a fence, so it's pretty easy to die. Unless it was a bot because I don't know why just level 19 would have the standard emotes. But I am seeing a lot of fans lately because it was that character of the week. They do it every week, and it was um the the Easter egg fan. Or if you play fin skins, you get extra points to play some fin skins or something. Got that match, so where's the legendary guard at? He's somewhere over here. Where's the legendary guard? He should be somewhere around here. Going back to the super chomp thing, I don't know what it's called. A super chomp, 
and Chomp Active, I don't know what it's called, but we're just gonna call it Super Chomp. Basically, you get instant kill, basically, I think I've, I've got instant kill from that before. It's really powerful, I, I think it combines, like, the, the power of the spear and the Chomp Active or something like that. Level, level 19 Molly works to deal with all these level 19s. But we, oop, that Molly almost just got killed from just one round of attacking. We almost just died though. All these high levels are coming out for the, um, what is it called? You get the Clan Wars. I guess we're gonna break the bush, I guess. Until something happens. If we die, this time we might play one more time or something. There's the Molly. Almost got that Molly though. I guess we'll play one more time. We do got something to collect though. Let's collect it. Twelve tokens. Or all tokens. I mean, I, mean, I have defeated high levels before. This is not, I haven't played Molly in a long time. I haven't played Molly in a video in like a while. I don't even play Molly that much. I don't know why. I need to start playing Molly some more. Maybe once I upgrade or I'll play her some more. I don't see no Molly. If we had more med kits, if we had full health med kits, we might would have had defeating that Molly. <laughs> but during this clan war campaign, is called, you're going to probably see a lot more 20s and stuff. We just got stunned. And the Quinn. The Quinn's almost dead. Okay, there we go. We got the Quinn. Okay, there we go. We got the Spooky. That's the second time somebody stole one of our things. The Spooky stole our shield and that Pepper just stole our med kit. Okay, let's go get the legendary weapon. Until we got it. It just turned into a Larry. What? We were fighting the Bruce and just it paused and turned to a, a Larry. I've seen it happen before, but not that late in the game. That's crazy. Well, we defeat the Larry. I have seen it happen before, but I haven't seen it happen that late in the game. Another Larry. And there's so many of these. So, I can, I feel like a lot of people can get to Elite 10. It's kind of easy to get Elite 10. And Elite 11, that's where most people are. Look, it's kind of easy to get there, and most of, like, 
I mean, he's really good characters are, are in the, um, or in that league. I know, buddy, I don't know what would be Phil. Those are really good. I'm talking about, like, Finn, Nix, Buck, all those good ones like that. They're pretty good. And, like, Larry's another one. And they're pretty easy to get Duke, who's at League 2. And Yarbrough's at League 2. Jade. And also, Bali, the new one's at League 5 for some reason. Let me make it so that Larry go off. Hard to catch Larry sometimes, especially with that combo instinct. Another Larry. What is it with these Larry? Eat the Shelly. There we go. That was a good move, moving around to the Shelly. We didn't stand right there. You do not want to stand in front of a Shelly. Um, sometimes, especially if it's a high level. <laughs> Let's let the Nyx win. Because Nyx is level 5, and the Nyx managed to survive all the chaos going around throughout the match, so it's good for the Nyx. The Nyx got a win with one kill pretty good we did get um 12 kills i mean finn's a character you can get a lot of kills with sometimes you can get 500 coins and now we got two tokens nico anything over here no we don't have the battle pass the premium one all well, right i was playing wars we're still losing So we do got a total of 7 level 16's now, so that's pretty good. And like I said, if you got a character like level 15 or higher, that, that's pretty good. You be proud of yourself for getting that character level 15 or higher, because this way you can start fighting more. I understand you can beat anybody at any level, but I'm saying you got a better chance of defeat, defeating like level 20's and stuff at level 15 or higher, because then that's pretty good. So we got mostly like level 15s and stuff. We do got quite a few 14s as well. Like the Polo, we got a, the gold crate. Polo got tokens from him, so we can upgrade him to 15. We still haven't got Betsy, yeah, or Zach. And eventually, I want to get the longest win streak. Past 39, like 50 or 45. Basically, you have to win. You can't lose. So you're halfway. So let's say you got 20. And if you lose, and if you and your old one was 15, then it goes up to 20. But basically, if you want, if you want 45, we have to win every single time with one each character at least once. We'll just do a board. May I'll try to do it maybe like after the upgrading series or something. That way, it's more probably doable after the upgraded series. Let's see. We don't have no other skin for um, Finn, but it was this one. This is the one we're doing this week. Also, Edna is supposed to get a new skin. I don't think it's there yet, though. No, not yet. Still, that's the newest one, I think. But they did last night. They did release these two skins in the store. The two new ones: the Archery Pepper and the Dinosaur Pony. Not bad for ten dollars. That's not too bad. And it's glitching out, like looking like that. 
but you can get these two skins for a pretty good price and they look pretty good in my opinion the pepper one is probably the best maybe Tony I don't know they both look pretty good hopefully the Edna one looks good I don't wonder if it can beat this skin because this is the best one for Edna right now I think in my opinion that one looks pretty good that one is not the best but looks okay like level 10 skins it's just something for you to have so you don't have just a normal model looking like that but at least level 10 skin is something for you to have maybe not the best skins for the character but it's something for you to have on the character my girl I would I would change Earl skin if we had something for him but we don't have nothing for him My, and like I said, in my opinion, I think the pepper one looks a little bit better. I don't know. That's what they look like. I don't know. I don't know which one looks better. My ten dollars isn't the isn't the worst. I mean, it has been worse. It was it like twenty dollars for a skin? When that pocket one released, that what is it? The um. This one wasn't like $25 or something. That's kind of crazy for a skin. Basically buy a character for that price. So does that not really do anything to collect over here? No. Did amazing choices last night. But no. Like I said, we upgraded them um, thin. We won't, do, we won't be able to do no more upgrading episodes until we get more coins, so this was fun, and goodbye.